What's up viewers, MDG here. And today I'm going to be unboxing something I've been very excited to get my hands on for quite a while now. And that is the Beach Hunter ID300 by White's Electronics. Very excited to get this more advanced machine, but it, it keeps it simple. It doesn't have notch discrimination, it doesn't tell you how deep something is, and that's awesome. I don't care about all that. If it rings coin, jewelry, I'm digging it. No matter how, how deep it is, my scoop's gonna pick it up. This will hit every spot, dry sand, wet sand, in the water. So I'm very excited to use this, and I will be doing a review on this after I, you know, I test it out a bit and work with it. So, but that being said, let's crack it open. Doesn't look like UPS was too kind on the box, so let's hope everything's okay. We have paperwork, the owner's manual, DVD, sales registration, sales registration you just paste on here, mail it away, I'll be sure to do that. So get this out of the way and let's get into the good stuff. Start off, we have the hip mount pouch, Hit mount, chest mount, pretty much clip it open, put your control box in here. You can hit mount it on a belt. If you have a scuba belt or just a normal belt. It has the chest mount option too, which I'm not quite sure how that works. Um, if they sell a harness for it, or if you have to get your own harness, but here's not just for it, or if you create your own thing, I guess it's a chest mount. I personally will probably not use this as I like my control boxes on the shaft itself, but it's a good thing to have. So we put that off to the side. Next, we've got our lower coil shaft and we've got our lower shaft that connects to the S shaft and then coil shaft will connect into that. We have Velcro which holds your coil wire to the shaft, two of them. Those things are great. We've got your coil screws, wing nut, bolt and the rubber washers and we've got your handle, your white handle. What this is, is it helps double your, your box that your detector came in as a carrying case. You know, say you're in a quick hurry and you need a case, you can just pop this white handle into the holes on the box and now you have yourself a carrying case. I've used this once as a carrying case with my White's dual field when I took it home from the metal detector store. You might use it, you might not, you never know. Alright, let's get into the rest here. Alright, opening this up, we have got our S shaft with your arm cuff, your Velcro, and your uh, pads that stick on. Your arm cuff here is adjustable. It has three notches. I already know from my dual field that I like the third notch on this, which pretty much makes it flush. You might have a different setting for it that you like. Pop that in real quick. And you can see where it falls on my arm now. This is right below my elbow, which is the exact spot you kind of want it. So, you know, that'll work out. So, Beach Hunter ID headphones. Very comfortable headphones, nice soft padding here. They're waterproof, they're loud enough to hear, pop them on your head, and you're good to go. Those are the headphones, great headphones. All right, here is the control box. This is a little more advanced than a few other machines, but it's pretty basic. This machine does have ground balancing. For the knobs, we have your ground balance, which is this knob here that will adjust your ground balance. Uh, I'm not going to go into that right now. You get your sensitivity, which I'm not going to go into that either. It has a battery check on it as well, which is the same as a dual field. You put it in battery check mode, turn it on, and you get a sound like that. Steady tone will let you know your batteries are good. It's got a quick setup on here. It tells you how to use it for a quick setup if you're out in the field. You know, I'm sure you don't have your manual on you. Tells you the color of the lights, red for iron, yellow for jewelry, green for coins. Your lights are right here. Battery pack. You want to clip this, pull it out. There's a boot in here. Pull that boot out like that. Slide your battery pack out. It's not your normal battery pack. You're saying, how do you charge this? You pull it up, slide it out. It reveals eight AA batteries. I believe they sell a rechargeable battery pack for this machine. I'm going to pop that back in. You can only put this in one way. Can't put it in this way, it's not going to work, so don't need to worry about messing that up. Put your boot back on. You got a little eyelet here and a little eyelet here. Holes on your boot. This slides a bit, gives you a little bit of play. Just take your round eyelet and pop it on that hole like that and push your boot in. 
it's tight, which is good because it's waterproof. Now, this eyelet is going to pop out, so you want to keep that on there. Push your boot in. Make sure it stays on there. Put a little hole on this eyelet here. Clamp it down. Good to go. And you're waterproof up to 25 feet. This is a very light unit. It's actually surprising. I thought it was going to be heavier than it is. I mean, it, it looks like a beast. It looks heavy, but it's really not bad at all. I mean, without the batteries in it, it's super light. I forgot to talk about We have your toggle switch here, which is all metal mode, discrim, and click it up as a toggle, reset. I'm not going to get into that right now either. Next we have the coil. Big coil. It's not too big. It's not too small. You got the six inch ring here. You get your 12 inch ring. The pinpointing is awesome. Best pinpointing of any machine that I've used. It's pretty much dead center. Make an X, you'll get it every time. That's it for the box. We got a bunch of cardboard in here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put this together. If you care to see it, you can watch. If not, you can cancel out the video, but, and you can see how to do it. I'm sure you guys can figure it out anyways, but it's here, we're online, we're gonna do it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your rubber washers and there's slots for them. Pop them in there like this, like that. Put this one right here on that side. Those are good to go. Next thing you wanna do is put it onto your coil. I mean, I don't really need to explain where it goes. Plop it in here, make sure your holes are lined up. And then you wanna take your bolt. I like to put the bolt side with this knot on here in on the same side as the wire going into the coil. Pop it through like that. And then you got your wing nut here. And the reason I put that on that side is so I can spin this wing nut freely without getting caught by the wire here. Otherwise I'd be hitting this wire trying to turn this like this. If it's not a big deal, you can do it, but it just makes it a little easier. If you're in the field, you know, and your hands are wet from the water, you know, you don't really want to fumble with the wire. I mean, you don't really want to touch the wire more than you have to. There's your coil with the coil shaft on there. I'm going to recommend White Cell's a stabilizer that goes on your coil here goes back here and it keeps your coil stable and level like this. If you're in the water, your coil is going to float up like this a bit. And you're going to constantly step on it or pull it out of water, push it back down. That stabilizer will keep it level like this. It's like $10. I definitely recommend getting it. I use it on my dual field. It works wonders. I've seen people take cable wraps and twist it on there. I've seen somebody build stuff out of hangers. I recommend the stabilizer. It's a lot easier. It'll save a lot of time of trying to build something. You know it's going to work right. So next what we're going to do is we're going to put lower shaft on right here. You have grooves here which these buttons will click into right there. And I'm just going to go ahead and wrap my coil wire as well around this so I don't have any troubles later on down the road when I put on that shaft. You want your coil wire your first loop to go over, over, over your shaft like that. Not under, not under, not under. If you go under, there's a possibility you can fall. That's what White's recommends and pretty much every detector company. So that's what you do. I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this. And that way I can adjust the slack when I get to the control box. And then I can just slide this wire up once I put the S shaft on. Now we're pretty much ready to put the S shaft on. Same as the other one, you got these bolts that tighten the shaft once it's on there. Push in your little pins here, put this on, click it in. There's only one set of holes it can go to, and that's on it. So you twist this, it'll tighten it up. Every time you're done using this and you go to rinse it off, you want to take these shafts off as well. These tightening nuts will get hardened and crusted up. So you want to take it off and you want to wash in here and there. I mean, otherwise, you know, you hunt in the water a few times with the salt water and these things are going to freeze up on you and you got a permanent shaft right there. So make sure you clean these out, this one and this one. I do mine every single time. I recommend you to do the same. If you don't, well, that's your choice. Okay, control box to mount on here. Make sure your wire is good how you want it. I like to leave a nice loop here so I can put my hand in there and that, that's going to work out perfect. Put two pins in, push in your other two pins, you're good to go. I got a nice little loop on my wire right there because I'm going to mount the Velcro strip right here. Right there, so we're going to put it there. That'll work out nicely for me. Other people have their own methods. That's mine. That's how I do it. Down here, your Velcro strap on the lower shaft, four pins, put the strap right in there. And there you have it. Your wire is Velcroed to the shaft. This is actually a pretty light machine. 
I'm sure after six hours of hunting, it's gonna get heavy just like any other machine, but another thing you wanna do is put a coil cover on this. It did not come with one. I'm probably just gonna take the coil cover off of my dual field. I'll show you how to put it on, easy trick to take it off. Say you're detecting in the water, it's real murky, you'll see what's going on. You come across a piece of coral, a rock, something, you skim it, bust your coil open, and you gotta send it for repairs. Coil cover's like 10 bucks, $14, something like that. I highly recommend putting the coil cover on here. So I'm gonna grab my white spool field here. First, I'd like to show you, this is the, the stabilizer that I was talking about, $10. It stops the movement of play. Um, I'm gonna tighten it up, all right? You will get a little bit of play right here. You can take one of those plastic cable wraps and you can tie wrap it right through here to the coil and it'll hold your coil super steady. To me, it's not a big deal, that little bit of play, because if I have to cut that tie wrap every time I want to take off my coil cover, it's kind of a hassle to me since I'll, I'll rinse my machine off right at the beach. This is the coil cover, it's a black coil cover, and this is without. Easy way to take off this coil cover so you don't break your fingernails, destroy your hands. What you want to do is take the coil, and you want to hold your shaft, you take your coil and you want to put it under your arm like this. So you're holding it nice and steady. You're holding your shaft up here, so it's not a big problem. And then you want to just clamp it with your, your elbow and your arm here, kind of between your armpit and your side, and then pull the black like that. Pops right off. Looks like I left a little bit of sand in here from the beach. So you're going to take your coil cover and pop it on there. It's good to go. Now your coil is protected. And what more can you ask for? My main reason for getting this is so I can move back and forth in the water, wet sand, dry sand. This is the Beach Hunter ID 300 by White's Electronics. It retails for $9.99. I look forward to using it extremely. Make sure you check out my video. I'm gonna do a review on it. I'm also gonna do hunting videos, more hunting videos. So keep an eye for that. I'd like to thank everybody for watching and for everybody's support. Until next time. See you later.